Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we are going to talk about the Gilergian method and how we can solve the same differential equation with the same boundary conditions as the previous video because in the previous video we have talked about how we can solve this differential equation with this boundary conditions with petrov gilerkin method because petrov gilerkin method have the assumption that shape function is not equal to the weight function but in the gilerkin method the assumption is the weight function and the shape functions are equal so let's start with the example in one of the previous videos we have talked about that if the shape function and the weight functions are equal in the Gilerkin method that what is the difference between the Gilerkin method and the weak form or the Ritz method and the answer is that in the weak form we have to do the integration by parts to actually weaken the differentiability but in the Gilerkin method because this is a strong form because this is the um, a strong form method there's no need to do the integration by parts there's no need to do uh, there's no need to weaken the differentiability that is why this Gilerkin method is different from the weak or the Ritz method the main uh, steps in the solution are the same to write the residual to write about the residual to plug the definition of u in the residual because in this technique the shape and the weight function are equal so there is no need to specify w1 and w2 here the phi1 is equal to w1 and phi2 is equal to w2 the rest of the process is same to plug the values in the weighted integral statement just like the previous video so i'm not going to repeat the same process but what i'm going to do i'm going to write the two integrals that we will be having after plugging all of these values and after doing all of the steps that we have covered in the last video so if you are confused uh that what step should we follow first and then second and then so on then you should review the last video about the petrov gilerkin method the link will be in the description and also in the above cards so let's write the two integral statements after plugging the omegas and phi w1 and w2 phi1 phi0 and phi2 here the residual and this is the weighted residual that w that is equal to phi1 r this value here dx is equal to 0 over the domain of 0 to 1 that we know from the boundary conditions and the second integral would be same w2 r and dx so here we are with w2 x square 1 minus 2 by 3 that is actually phi 2 and r and dx so if we plug this residual r here and we simplify this integral and we simplify this integral then again we left out with the two linear equations so this is your task to solve these two integrals and so here i'm going to write the solution of this integral and this integral for you to verify it from your answer so the solution of this integral would be this 4 by 5 c1 plus 28 by 45 c2 minus 7 by 60 is equal to 0 because c1 and c2 are the two main constants that we need to find in order to write the approximate u because we have phi 1 phi 2 phi naught and we don't have c1 and c2 that is why we are actually looking for the values of c1 and c2 and the solution of this integral would be this 17 by 90 c1 plus 29 by 315 c2 minus 1 by 36 is equal to 0. we have two linear equations we have two unknowns so there is no difficulty in order to find the values of c1 and c2 so again i'm going to write the values of c1 and c2 that you will be getting after the solution of these two equations so this is the value you will be getting for c1 is equal to 623 by 4306 and for c2 21 by 4306 and exactly the last step as before that 
putting the values of C1, C2 in the approximated U function, that is the actual answer because we are here uh, solving the differential equation in order to approximate it with the approximate displacement function. So C1, this, phi1, we know phi1, that x2 minus x that we have used in the previous video about the petrov gilarikin method, and here the same phi1, uh, that is x2 minus x, and C2, this value of C2, phi2, uh, that is same as before x square into 1 minus 2 by 3x that we have used in the two videos, this video and in the last video. Phi naught, that is x. So you have to put the values here, you have to solve the u in order to get a equation, a polynomial for that u, that would be the approximate for the differential equation that we are solving here. So we can solve a differential equation under the Galerkin method with the main assumption of this, and by taking three shear functions, because we have two nodes here, j is equal to two, we have picked a linear j is equal to two here. That is why we are having two phi one and phi two and phi naught. So in the next video, we will be talking about the next method that we will be using in the strong form. So this is for now. If you are looking for more such videos, then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.